Happy Teacher Tuesday! If unfamiliar, my name's Miss Bree, a preschool teacher. Make sure to subscribe by hitting that red button under the screen and let's see what's on our schedule for today. But first, I just wanted to say I haven't filmed in a while with back to school coming up. I missed you all. Make sure to turn on your post notifications because I post on Tuesdays, but sometimes it's every other Tuesdays. I have some fun field trips coming up. Now let's see what's on our schedule for today. Today we will be doing letter I activities. For our first activity, we will be doing an ice melt experiment. And that's how you do the ice melting experiment. For our second activity, we will be making ice cream in a bag. And that is how you make ice cream in a bag. <laughs> For our last activity, we will be doing ice skating indoors. Now let's get started on our ice, ice, ice activities. For the ice melting experiment, you will need ice, a divided food tray labeled with pictures of what you will melt your ice with. Cups will work just as well. Next, you, it's your choice, ingredients you want to melt your ice with. I used whole wheat flour, salt, water, and maple syrup. You'll also need a tablespoon. Kids learn through hands and experiments using their senses. See with your eyes, smell with your nose, taste with your tongue, feel with your hands, hear with your ears, Science is an add-on to their world. It's good to encourage kids to wonder, ask questions, and make their own discoveries. First, you'll put two to three tablespoons of each ingredient you chose in their section of the tray or in cups. Two tablespoons of flour. Two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of water, ah. <laughs> kids will have so much fun, and two tablespoons of maple syrup. And now you will drop an ice cube in each of the sections. Before you drop your ice cubes in each of the ingredients, I want you to guess which ingredient will melt the ice the fastest. Now you may have different ingredients, but out of mine will it be water, maple syrup, salt, or flour? Hmm. After when you take a guess, let the melting begin. Here is an update after 20 minutes. Flour, water, maple syrup, and salt. So far, it looks like salt is the smallest. After one hour, the ingredient that melted the ice cube the fastest is salt. In second place, water, then maple syrup, and then flour. If you guess salt, you are correct. That could be why they use salt to melt ice in the winter time on sidewalks and driveways. 
Hmm. Now feel free again to do this experiment and use different ingredients like vinegar or oil. And also, since it takes roughly an hour, have the kids do another letter I activity and have them check back on this one like every 15 minutes or so. And that's how you do the ice melting experiment. For ice cream in a bag, you will need two gallon size freezer bags, one inside the other filled halfway up with ice. This prevents leaking. Half and half. Vanilla extract. Rock salt. This is different than table salt. You will need rock salt. White sugar. And a sandwich size or quart size bag. Optional, have some fun and add toppings like strawberries, bananas, chocolate syrup, whipped cream, and more. First, you will add half a cup of half and half into the quart size or sandwich size bag. Next, you will add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract to it. And last, you will add one tablespoon of sugar. Sprinkle it in. Then you will seal it shut and mix it up by hand. <laughs> Ooh, it feels nice and cool from the half and half. Next, you will open up your double baked freezer bag and put a third of a cup of rock salt in with the ice. Then place your quart size bag or sandwich size bag of half and half sugar and vanilla extract inside with the ice and the rock salt and seal both bags shut. Now you will shake the bag up for five to 10 minutes. You will shake it up, shake it up, have a dance party. Let's go fast speed. After five to 10 minutes, you will open up the freezer bags and take out the quart size or sandwich size bag. You can either eat it in the bag or you can put it in a bowl or cup. I made a serving for one, but you can also double the recipe, triple the recipe, or make some for the whole family. Next, you can add some toppings. some strawberries. Banana. This makes a great dessert. Some chocolate sauce. And some whipped cream. <laughs> 
I put the recipe in the link description below. And that is how you make ice cream in a bag. <laughs> For ice skating indoors, you will need wax paper, masking tape, and a helmet for safety. With the kids in socks, you will rip off two pieces of wax paper. About this long. And the ch child will stand putting their foot in the middle of it and you will wrap it up around their foot. Kind of like you're making a boot for them. And you will tape it around it. until it's secure. Now I'm going to do the other foot. And I recommend the kids being in socks because when they're bare foot, it heats up the wax paper much faster and they don't last as long. And now I'm ready to go ice skating indoors. Here I am in my brand new wax paper ice skates. Give a round of applause. Thank you, thank you. They don't last a super long time, but they're a lot of fun. It's a great movement activity. They can be worn on carpet. They also could be used on hardwood floor, wearing a helmet, because it gets really, really slippery. for the Olympics to be on the ice skating team. I've been working really hard. What do you think? Just kidding. So if you want to go ice skating in the summertime or in the winter time, but you live in a warmer place that doesn't get snow or ice, well, you will know that there are other options. And that is how you ice skate indoors. Well, thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun. I hope you did too. Make sure to subscribe and join my in-home classroom if you have not yet. Also, comment down below what activity you're going to try and how did it go? I would love to hear. Well, I will see you next time on Teacher Tuesday. Tuesday.